Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is Opportunity Thrift, and my name is Lillian. And for those of you that have been here before, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching again. I really appreciate it. And for those that are new, what we do on this channel is we do thrift store shopping, vintage antique store shopping. Uh, we go thrifting anywhere where I think I can find a bargain. And uh, we do jewelry sales and jewelry unboxings. So that's what you are going to see on this channel. I have today a jewelry sale. And most of these items, well, they're all new. Uh, some are artisan pieces. As a matter of fact, probably all of them are artisan pieces. And um, they're all necklaces. So it's a necklace show today. And if you want to purchase something, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com and give me the date of the video, a timestamp of the item that you're interested in, and a brief description of the item. Shipping is $5 for under a pound for U.S. shipping, and I will ship internationally, but the rate's going to depend on how far it goes, how big the package, and things like that. So let's get started. So the first item I have, I may not open all of these. They're all, except one or two, they're all in little sealed um, containers. So this one is uh, not that fancy. We're kind of starting out with uh, the not fancy pieces and going toward the more fancy pieces as the video moves on. And I'm not quite sure if this is a uh, plastic piece or a shell. It looks like there might be a little crack here. Not sure. So uh, the drop on this one is 14 inches. And this is, uh, this is the... The way the cord looks and this one is going to be just a dollar um like i said we're starting out with the not so fancy pieces and then i think we're working our way up toward the pieces that are nicer as as the video moves on so we have that one then we have a piece that's a shell and this one is in uh, much better condition than the prior one. It's, it's a real shell. There's some thickness to it. It's in great shape. This is the cord. The drop on it as it stands right now is 12 inches. And this one is going to be $2. And it's got this little card, statements by Amy Khan Russell. Okay, was a home shopping network item, I guess, at some point in its life. That is not where I purchased it, but that's where it was. Okay, then this one says... Fashion Gemstone Jewelry, jewelry by Swabeco, and I don't know anything about it. It is cold, so if I were to say, I would say this is glass, and uh, somewhere at some point in time, it was $8. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging, uh, but that's going to be $2. Next item I have is this little star, and this looks like quartz to me. And the star is um, about two-thirds of an inch by two-thirds of an inch. 
and the drop is and this is going to be rough i'm not taking it off of the card the drop is around 14 inches so cute no other information uh this is going to be four dollars four dollars for the star all right then we have Okay, this one does not have a package, but it is new. You can tell from the cord, and it came in the same lot that the rest of these came from. It has a 13-inch drop. We've got faux pearls and a little heart. And Valentine's Day is soon. <laughs> it's like a month away. Um, so if anybody wants this little heart, that's going to be... Three dollars. Three dollars for the little heart. We have another little heart. And this one is a really pretty glass piece. At least I think it's glass. Yeah, I think it's glass. Really, really cute. And the heart is about two-thirds of an inch by two-thirds of an inch. And the drop is 10 inches, and then it has a little bit of a nicer clasp than the prior ones. It has a lobster clasp, so this is gonna be $4. $4 for the little heart. I have another little heart. <laughs> so let's see, let's see what this one is. Uh, also a little piece of glass about the same size it's on a brown cord i'm not taking it off the uh the card and inside the glass i don't know what's inside there not sure so this one is going to be Three dollars. Three dollars for that one. All right. Then next we have another glass piece. A little heftier. It is, uh, let's see, about an inch and a half. Well, maybe more like an inch and a third by an inch and a third. It's also on a green cord. It has a nicer, well, it doesn't really have a class, but it has these little extra beads, which are really pretty. Oh, there we go. It's got two of those, and the other one just disappeared. <laughs> Here we go. No? No, it's still on the cord. All right. It needs to be coaxed down. There we go. And it has another, it has also another one of these that needs to be brought down. So really pretty brown cord. Uh, the drop on this is about 17 inches. And this one is going to be $4. And the card does not give us any other information. All right, let's see what else do we have here. We have this one, it says Rainbow Agate Pendant. Really pretty lavender purple colors. Uh, what does this say? And it has a lobster clasp. It was $8. Natural agate is an excellent choice for students and artists as it enhances creativity and strengthens the intellect. Provides bursts of energy. <laughs> I need agate. <laughs> as and when required. And purple agate aids meditation and spiritual transformation. It helps develop intuition. Very pretty. 
All right, so this little, um, this agate pendant necklace will be $4. Then we have, who is this little guy? Looks like a teddy bear of some kind. Yep, we got a little teddy bear. And he is about an inch by an inch and a third. He's on the black cord. He's going to be $3. $3 for the little teddy bear. He's wearing a pretty red sweater, all dressed for the winter. Then we have this necklace. And let's see, can I get it out of here? Yeah. And it's funny. It says talk. And nothing on the other side. These look look like glass beads. Yeah, I think so. It is just on this kind of almost like twine cord. And this one's going to be $3. Okay. Let's get this in here. And then I have a similar one coming up. And this one I think is even funnier. It says shopping. <laughs> oh, born to shop. Okay, so it says something on both sides. Or you could say S shopping, because <laughs> SH is together. Okay, and then what kind of class does this have? Well, I don't know. I guess this just goes through here somehow. I guess that's what you do. Okay. So it says shopping. And this one is going to be $4. Then we have this one. I have two of these different colors. This one is silver tone and I suppose you could put a little picture inside here. And I do have another one. Oh, we'll, we'll, oh here it is. I have this one. Same thing but gold tone. And rough drop on this is, let's see, is 17 inches, came off the card. And then it just has a really basic tie in back. You can tie it anywhere you want. And <clears throat> these, the silver tone and the gold tone, they're going to be $2 each. Again, these are all new. So, silver tone, gold tone, $2 each. Oh, I have another gold tone. So, that one's $2. All right, then we have this piece. And this is a pretty glass piece. Double sided. And it is on a black cord. And again, the drop is going to be kind of a rough estimate. I'm trying not to take it off the card. The drop is 12 inches. And this one's going to be $3. Oh, I didn't measure it. 
it's about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. All right, then we have this one. And it's just a beaded necklace. These are probably acrylic. I, they don't feel real cold. And the drop on this is... 12 inches. Okay, this one's gonna be $2. It has really pretty colors. And you can't go wrong for $2. <laughs> I mean, it's new, it's pretty. It'll dress up in an outfit. Oh, we have another star like that first one. And now I can't remember if I said. I think I said $3, but that one was um, more of a stone. This one is more glass. Let me see if I can. Yeah, see that that one was more of a stone, natural stone, and this one is more glass. So $3 for that one. It's roughly, Probably, again, two-thirds, three-quarters of an inch. Okay, then we have this one. Okay, it was $4.50 somewhere. And it has the little at sign. Really pretty. There is a little, like, bubble inside there. I don't know if that's on purpose or why that's there. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so because of that, I'm going to say $2 for that one. Then we have... Okay, let's get this in the bag. Then we have another little a teddy bear. And this one's on a silver tone chain. So it's got a nicer chain. And any markings, anything? Don't think so. It's got a lobster clasp. So let's see how big he is. He's about two thirds of an inch by three quarters of an inch. Cute little teddy bear. He's going to be $3. Then we have these two hearts. And this does look like abalone to me. And it's on a black cord. And the hearts are roughly an inch by half an inch, roughly. And these hearts are going to be $4. Okay, then now we're kind of moving up to some nicer pieces. At least I think they're nicer. This one isn't in a bag, but it has a nicer cord. Much nicer cord, maybe a little bit of fraying to the cord, probably because it did not come in a bag. And it has these uh, faux turquoise colored beads. They feel like glass or stone. This might be ceramic. Probably this one too. This one feels like a natural stone. 
And the drop on this one is, let's see, 17 inches. And I'm going to do $4 on this one because the cord does have a little bit of, a little bit of frame. Now, I think this one is gorgeous. Look at this. I don't even know how they made this. It's, it's glass, I believe. I bet it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how they did this. I don't I have no idea how they made this. And the cord is a nicer cord. The card does not give us any additional information. It is about a 13 inch drop. And the pendant is roughly two inches by three quarters of an inch. This one is going to be $7. $7 for that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. All right, let's see what's next. Then we have this butterfly. Again, it's on a nicer cord. And the butterfly, I think, is glass. At least that's what it looks like to me. It is... About an inch and a quarter by by about an inch and a quarter. And the drop on the cord, let's see, it's a little tangled. The drop on the cord is 14 inches. So this one is going to be $4. $4 for the little butterfly. Then what do we have? Then we have another picture frame, I believe. It says copper frame. Really pretty. Oh, what does this say? Well, it does have some initials. P-E-J-B-B. Probably the artist's mark or initials. And the little frame is an inch by two thirds of an inch. And this is going to be $4. Okay. So then we have. Okay, this one is on a ribbon cord with um, lobster clasp. And I think it says agate. At least I think that's what it says. It was $9 somewhere. So a little piece of agate. It's about an inch and a third by an inch and a third. And this one's going to be five dollars. Really pretty, beautiful, beautiful piece of agate. All right, then we have this gorgeous piece. Really, really pretty glass piece. Again, I don't even know how they do this, how they make this. This is not painted on top. This is actually all within the glass. Really pretty. 
and this is roughly two inches by half an inch and no other information and this is going to be six dollars i have another similar piece just different colors it's the same size it has the nicer cord and this is how this one looks again just beautiful and beautiful colors so six dollars for this one also all right then i have i have two very similar pieces and so i don't know but this looks like it's uh man-made it doesn't look like it's a natural stone to me but i could be wrong it's just that when i turn it well okay so this one's very plain on the back and this one still has a pattern I don't know maybe it is a natural stone it's cold it's really cold it's very heavy yeah so maybe it is a natural stone it's the first time i've taken them out of the bag so really interesting um this one is slightly larger it is an inch and a half by about two and a half inches. And this one is about two and a half, well, it's similar, but two and a half inches by an inch. These are gonna be $5 each. And then this is the beads that are on, on this necklace. Let me kind of get these back in the bag. So guys, tomorrow is my thrifting day. I go out once a week and I try to hit up as many stores as I possibly can. So I'm going to ask your opinion on something. Is there a store you would like me to visit again? From my prior videos or you know do you want me to do more repeats or do you want me to just keep finding new places so we have one and a half inch by one and a half inch it looks like quartz to me because i have been to a lot of stores 14. 14 inches and this one is going to be five dollars and some of them I think I'd love to go back to again um, get a better look maybe spend more time and then others I almost like have no desire to go back to again <laughs> so because I didn't find anything or it just wasn't I don't know I, dis some of them were disappointing. I didn't find much because I'm mostly looking for jewelry and purses. And uh, I've been really disappointed with the Goodwills around me because there's no jewelry in any of the Goodwills. And the purses are all damaged by those clips. Um, so about, just like the other one, about an inch and a half by an inch and a half. Very similar quartz. But people like to watch the Goodwill videos. So I'm kind of torn. Um, because I just have not found much in the Goodwills. At least around here. I see Goodwills in other parts of the country have nice purses. I just have found very, very few. So again, similar, almost the same, except this one has, see these have the, 
that silky kind of cord. But this one has a faux leather cord. So much nicer cord if you like that look. So this one, I'll keep it at five dollars since the others, but these, this one has a better cord. So yeah, so I haven't been so thrilled with the Goodwills, and I've been to, I haven't counted it, but at least a couple dozen Goodwills. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I just probably gonna not do as many Goodwill thrifting videos. Now the shopgoodwill.com is a different story, but the actual stores have been kind of disappointing in the Chicago area. I don't know, leave a comment, tell me what you think. Uh, one and three quarters by two inches. I don't know, guys, is this a quartz? I think it looks like it to me. Uh, real pretty pattern, beautiful colors, $6 for that one. So yeah, you know, along with the new year, I'm trying to think, how can I make the channel more interesting? How can I make the channel better? What are things to change? What are things to keep the same? Um, and I, I guess I would like your feedback. Because I do want to keep doing this, and I want the channel to grow and be successful. And what does this say? Some kind of marble ring. At least that's what the card inside the package says. So, um, I would believe that. And I love this cloisonne bead. And then these look like rose quartz to me. Really, even, you know, it's a pretty uh, chain. It has, you know, it has some detail to it. And this is about two inches by two inches. And then the cloisonne bead is about an inch by half an inch. So this one's going to be $7. Really pretty, unique piece. And eventually, I will probably get back to kind of uh, tapered off of the shopgoodwill.com craft boxes. I haven't found any that are in an acceptable price range to me that look like they would have decent items inside. Um, I might have let the cat out of the bag on my videos when I mentioned where I was getting some of them. And the prices have gone up like seven, eight fold. And I, you know, I just don't want to spend that kind of money. Uh, so that's why you have not been seeing as many uh, shopgoodwill.com craft boxes because the shopgoodwill.com location I was buying from, their prices have just skyrocketed. Two inches by an inch and a quarter. Really beautiful blues with some like gold speckles. Really pretty. The cord is a faux leather cord. It has a 13 inch drop. So um, this one is going to be $6. Yeah, so leave some feedback. Tell me what you guys all think. And, uh, you know, I am interested in, in getting your thoughts and feedback. Oh, this is interesting. This one has a really nice feel to it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's almost like a polished beach stone or something. 
so about two and a quarter by one and a quarter it has a silky cord the drop on the cord is 13 inches and this one's going to be four dollars so yeah i'm trying to decide where to go shopping tomorrow and i I think I'm going to go in the direction of Geneva, Illinois. There's a lot of cute antique shops there. I may not find much to purchase, but I think they'd be really fun to film and look at and see what they have. Um, the pictures on Google Maps of a lot of these shops just look like they're gorgeous little, little shops where there's a lot of little antiques and pretty jewelry and it's a lovely town it's kind of it's like an artsy town it's becoming a little bit touristy people who live in chicago like to go there for like a weekend away so about two inches by one and a quarter inch and it's not as well polished on this edge as the others were before that were similar. So I'm gonna go $4 on this one. All right, we have just a few more left. So this one, Oh, this one's really pretty too. What is this? I'm not sure what kind of stone. Is that agate also? It is about two inches by one and a quarter inch. Really pretty. I'm going to go $6 on that one. And then I have this one. It is a gorgeous purple cord. It has a about a 14, 15 inch drop. This is faux leather, I think. I think it's faux. Oh, it's a gorgeous color. And the stone, I don't know what that's circular. I don't know. I don't know if that was done when they were polishing it or if that's just part of the natural natural shape of the stone once they finished polishing it they couldn't polish that out I'm not sure but I still think it's really really pretty and unique uh, be because of this I'm gonna go four dollars on this one just cuz I, I don't know I don't know why that wasn't polished out maybe maybe they just didn't want to they didn't want to reduce the stone, the surface of the stone anymore. Okay, and this is our last piece. Really pretty cloisonne piece. Reversible. And a very hefty cord. Interesting, it's almost like shoelace cord. Um, the pendant, the size of the pendant is uh, roughly two inches by about an inch and a quarter. And this one is going to be $6. So guys, that's all I have for today. Um, all new jewelry, all necklaces. I would say most to all of them, artisan made, some really unique pieces. And again, if you would like to purchase anything, email me at opportunitythrift at gmail.com. 
shipping is an additional five dollars for under a pound i do combine shipping it doesn't have to be even off of this uh, video it can be off of any video that i've posted on youtube and i have quite a few uh, so i do combine shipping as long as it stays under a pound for us um subs viewers subscribers um that will be five dollars uh, international will be more depending on where you're located and then of course if you buy a lot of jewelry it'll be based on weight and distance um, if it's over a pound so if you like this video and you want to see more like it um, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons and I will see you soon bye bye